Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, um, I came up with a... I think I think it might be a genius plan um, for Dragon Speed 10. It was just... I was just sitting around looking at monsters, theory crafting and stuff, and I thought of something that um, might possibly work. The unfortunate thing is I, I, I'm not able to show you guys my... show you guys um, the dungeon. Like, I can't... Yeah, I should just hit this boss for now. Alright, fuck it. I'll just I'll just use this team. Um, it's the only team I got. I I mean I already planned this team, so it's it's the it's the best team I got. All right. Um, I'll just do the clan battles while I talk talk a little bit about this. The Dragon's Dungeon is not Dragon's. It's not the weekend, so the Dragon's Dungeon isn't out. I I'm not able to show you guys. You you guys will have to picture this in your head. But um, you know if you're if you're good at theory crafting, you should be able to do it. Um. So for right now, my my Dragon's V10 team, for those ha that haven't seen it, is basically just my Wood Gatito, Dark Gatito, uh, no, Dark Sea Star Leader, Dark Gatito, Wood Gatito, and uh, Wood Wild Fang. And it works pretty well. I I can probably make it through the dragons with like two or three refills every single time, so it's, it's pretty good. Um, I have to full manual it though. There's probably no way you can auto dragons. Like, there's people that can auto dragons, but it takes them, like, a lot more refills, but they still do it anyways because they're they're lazy and they have to, so... Um, but I wanted to save my resources, and that's why I wanted to, like, you know, do it um, manually as much as possible. Shit, my Gatito's dead. So, the Dragon's um, B10 dungeon is very simple. There's three monsters in the first wave, four monsters in the second wave, and the boss. Um, and the boss has two side monsters. It doesn't really matter because he, he one-shots you with his AoE anyways. It doesn't even matter what he does. He one-shots anyone with his attack. If he does his one tar single target attack, anyone that gets hit is dead. If he does his AoE, everybody dies. Um, so, uh, the first first stage is actually where I have the most trouble. Uh, the reason is that Light Persephone in the, in the middle. It's basically composed of the Light Persephone and two random monsters on the side. The monsters on the side don't matter. They pretty much die in one hit. They're, they're really, really weak. Um, so what I what I do is I I armor break one of the monsters on the side, kill it with my Dark Gatito on the first turn, um, and I petrify the other monster on the side with my Wild Fang. And I uh, I just hit that Persephone with my Dark Sea Star because it's the only thing I can do. And then that Persephone gets a turn. It'll either attack my Wild Fang or, or attack my Dark Sea Star or my Dark Gatito because they're dark and she's light. Um, if it chooses to attack my Dark Gatito, my Gatito dies, and I basically have to refill once at that point. Um, if it decides to target my Dark Sea Star, then I have a chance to uh, the next turn to armor break the monster on the side. Um, and kill it with my Dark Gatito and try to pet petrify that, that Persephone. If she does happen to resist, she will choose again to either attack my Dark Sea Star or my Dark Gatito. If she chooses to attack my Dark Sea Star um, and didn't crit any of, the, any of those two times, then my Dark Sea Star will survive. And um, next turn, I will be able to try to Armor Break her and kill her. If, if Armor Break does land, she will die. Um, if Armor Break does not land, then I will try to petrify her with my with my uh, wild thing, and if that fails, then she will choose to either attack my Dark Sea Star or Dark Gatito. At this point, if she has already attacked twice before, um, then my Dark Sea Star is dead. Like no, someone will die. Like someone will die for sure. If she chooses to attack my Dark Sea Star again, he's dead. She's dead. Um, if she chooses to attack my Dark Gatito, he's gonna die for sure, 100%. Um, if if uh, if my CC lands, if my armor break doesn't land and my CC lands, she will not attack, and I will be able to try again to land my armor break the next turn. If armor break lands, she will die. And um, at this point, um, if my all my monsters are alive, then this is the best case scenario because my my wild fang will have a full bar, and I'll move on to the ne next stage. Um, basically, if my wild fang has a full bar, then I will be able to use her AOE, um, put all the monsters to sleep, and kill one of them. And then the, ne the next turn, I can kill one for sure, CC one monster, and then only one monster will be alive. That monster will attack either my Dark Sea Star or my Dark Gatito, but it doesn't matter because they do barely any damage. And I will kill that monster, and I'll have a full bar, move on to dragons, 
Um, if I land armor break on the first turn, then I can kill the dragons. Um, you know, after one refill, because I, I don't have enough damage to one shot the dragon. So that's the that's basically my dragons run. Like if I had to describe my dragons run, that's basically it. Um, so what I was thinking is, is instead of like I, I thought of this the last time I I uh, I made a video about dragons V10. Um, instead of using my my dark sea star, I'll put a dark. Uh, Victoria that is on built on hybrid and use her as the leader and if the Persephone chooses to attack her first then she can survive one hit um, and she also has a chance to CC the, the Persephone with her 100% stun um, so that's why I decided to use her instead of, um, instead of any other monster but the, the other thing I came up with is instead of using my wild thing why don't if, if my Victoria also has a CC on her first skill Instead of using my wild thing who has petrify, I could also use another monster that has stun or something. Um, or some sort of CC. Uh, the unfortunate thing is there's no there's no other monster that's attack type and has 100% petrify. The closest thing is a dark Jin, and he's not even attack type, I think he's balanced. And he has only 80% chance to petrify. So there's not another monster with 100% chance to petrify. Um, so I, I will either have to switch to 100% stun, um, or 100% shock, or 100% sleep. There's quite a few monsters with 100% um, stun and sleep, so um, I could use one of those monsters. And the, the thing is, like after the first wave, um, when, once I get to the second wave, I don't really even need to use my, my wild things um, AoE to try to CC them anymore, because I'll, this way I'll have two, two monsters that have 100% chance to to CC, so I can stun two monsters, um, kill one of them with my two Katitos, and then only one monster will be able to, to attack. And th it doesn't even matter who it attacks, because one monster won't be able to kill anything. The next turn, I can CC two monsters again, and kill the the uh, the remaining one monster, and then nobody will attack because they're both stunned. And then the next turn, I'll kill them. You know, I'll kill one monster, and then the next turn, I'll kill the last monster. Um, the problem is I don't since I don't have petrify, I won't be able to stack a full SP bar once I get to the boss. So, um, yeah, this is just something I, I'll, I'll need to test to see if I can if I can remain if I can just basically on all, on all four of my monsters never use their their uh, their second skill the whole entire run and have nobody die. You know, so it's gonna be a little bit hard. Um, if somebody dies, then it's basically one more extra refill against the boss. And I don't even know if that this is enough damage to be able to one-shot the dragon. But the, there's a few candidates that, that come up, up um, when, I'm, when I'm choosing a monster that has 100% um, CC. There's my Fire Arthur, which I have. Um, I think he's definitely the ideal monster if I can get him to evil 3, because he does have the highest base attack. But there's another monster that seems pretty good. That's the Light Medusa. Um, she's she has Elemental Edge on her second skill, so she hits pretty hard with that. And she also has 100% stun on her first skill. And she's attack type, so she has pretty good, pretty decent um, attack. And I can build her with full attack as well. So um, I think she's definitely going to be pretty nice um, for me to use if I can manage to get her um, in the next low rebirth. But it's not definitely not the end of the world if I don't get her because the most ideal monster is definitely the, the Fire Arthur, who has much more attack if I can get him to Evil 3. Um, but it's going to be much, much easier for me to get a Medusa to Evil 3, because she's she's on she's on Rebirth right now. So, I mean, I could go hard again on Rebirth this time to try to do it. Um, but there's only 9 days left. So I didn't. I, I kind of regret not trying that hard. But then I, I also need to get her with a square slot, which is pretty damn hard. Yeah, I was just I was just lost somewhere, so I, I'm I'm not sure which what I should actually do. Um, I mean, I think the ideal situation is to get another, another Dark Victoria, 
Because if if I could, but I don't I don't think she's gonna be up for rebirth again. Maybe not for a long time. Um, but you know, she it would have been the perfect monster. Because the thing about the Dark Victoria is the thing that makes her even better is she's balance type. She's not attack type. So I can build her a hybrid. So on the first turn, if I manage to fail all my CC on the on the Persephone, there's a one in three chance that she attacks my Gatito instead of a one in two chance, which means I have a higher success rate if I if I do that. Um, and then I, and then she'll pros possibly still be able to do a lot of damage because first of all she's dark type, so against the dragon she already has elemental adva advantage, and she's also dark, which means she has 50% extra crit damage. Um, so she would have been the perfect monster if I had another copy of her. But I think the most ideal situation for me is to use the use um use either my fire Arthur or possibly the the light siren um not siren um Medusa. She has pretty good stats too. But I don't I don't have her yet. Maybe I won't be able to get her. Even if I don't, I, I can still just use my Fire Arthur. But I have to get pretty damn lucky to get my Arthur to, to Evil 3. Um, I mean, if you think about it, she has 2,900, so she's attack type. She has pretty low like HP and defense. Her HP is a lot higher than most attackers, but her attack's also not all that high. She does have elemental edge, so I can basically treat her as a dark monster. She has 10% extra crit rate, which means she, um, there's a less of a chance that she doesn't crit, but she doesn't have that 50% crit damage from all dark monsters. Um, the only other dark monster that has like the skill set I need is the... Actually, there's no other dark monster that, that has the skill set I need. Um, seventy chance, seventy percent chance, blind. Yeah, there there really is no other dark monster. Like it would have been perfect if I had two dark Victorias, because then. Um, if I get her to evil 3, although her attack's not very high because she's she's a balance type, um, her HP and defense are, are pretty high. So I basically, I, I gem her up with one slot HP or one slot defense, and she can survive a hit from my from the Dark Persephone. Um, and then, yeah, she'll, she'll be, wait, she might, I might be able to even gem her up without... I'm, I'm gonna have to do some tests because and this will only be possible once I get her to evil 3 I might be able to do build her full attack and she still might be able to survive one hit from the from the Persephone depending on my substats of my gems if that's possible it would have been perfect to get two of her because because of her balance type stats and then she's also dark so she has that extra crit damage and she's dark so she already has elemental advantage over light um, so it just makes her perfect, but I unfortunately I only have one of her. Not sure if there's any other dark monsters that have some sort of 100% CC on first skill. Probably not. So I think my best option is to just to use the Light Medusa if I happen to get her. If I don't get her, I'll just use my Fire Arthur. Um, but the problem is I his base stats is not even as high, like uh, at evil 2 is not even as high as the Medusa at evil 3, so it's it's more ideal for me to get that Medusa instead. At evil 3, it's it's uh, his his stats are just like crazy crazy high, but it's, I'll need to summon three Arthurs in order to for that to happen, so it's, it's probably probably better off trying to uh, trying to get that Medusa instead. Even if I don't, it's not the end of the world. I can just keep using my wall thing. I mean, it can it can still work. Petrify is still the best, um, best debuff. There's a few light and dark monsters that are really really good for for that as well.
You know, maybe after the event ends, this thing will disappear, and then my guaranteed 20 will be will be just these two. That might be pretty good. Um, I'll, I'll try. I'll try it. See if I can if I can do that, and then and then uh, do some. You know, do some do some farming, do some summoning and stuff. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's that's just something I wanted to share. Just uh, just some theory crafting and stuff. You know, it's always I I do enjoy like planning a lot of things in this. Um, hopefully they they release harder dungeons in the future for me to for me to have to like try really hard to do. Um, but yeah, well once once I get everything I'll I'll, um, I'll be sure to test it out and that's pretty much it for this video um, thank you guys so much for watching and yeah tell me tell me what you guys think of of the little plan that I thought of you know so I'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much peace out